When you have a change in price, you have a change in quantity demanded. So when we take a look here at our example, if we graph shoes, if shoes go on sale, let's say that this is our original price. So our original price was say $750 or perhaps for some of your shoes $72.50 and the price has gone down to approximately $40 or $4 here. Then what we're going to do is sell more shoes. But the reason is we moved along the demand curve already established by buying and selling in the market. So we have had a change in quantity demanded. And let me show you what that looks like. So that right there is a change in quantity demanded. This change in price dropped our quantity demanded. So our increase our quantity demanded. So lower price, more quantity demanded. Now if we take a look at our example here, gas, if gas prices increase, so if we take a look at gas prices right here, if gas was say $3.75 a gallon and that price went up to say $7.25 a gallon, we can see that we will sell less gas, so our quantity sold will, will decrease. Now one of the things you might not think about with gas is you have to have it, and that's absolutely true, but when prices increase, particularly catastrophically, as this case would be for gas, people change their habits. You might drive less, you might begin to carpool, people might begin to take alternatives such as public transportation or buy, uh, in the long run, buy more efficient cars. So bottom line, people are going to consume less gas in the short run if the price of gas goes up. So you can see that a change in price equals a change in quantity demanded if we're talking about the same good. So a change in the price of gas equals a change in the quantity demanded of gas. A change in the price of shoes equals a change in the quantity demanded of shoes.